Welcome back to Chronicle Gift of Sight from the Dominican Republic. The patients treated here by World Blindness Outreach are all different ages, from grandparents to young children. And it's those youngest patients that tug at the heartstrings the most. Okay, no la ve? No la ve? Okay, she can't no. see it. But she can't see it or she doesn't? That's what I'm asking her. For the youngest patients here at the clinic. And right at the P, right at the P. Solo Even the initial screenings pay. can be difficult. The problems that we're looking for in kids are completely different, first of all, but also just the examination for kids is different. You don't necessarily get cooperation from them. Um, a lot of times you're trying to get information without them being able to really help you get that information. Dr. Cynthia Alley, Dr. Alley's daughter, is doing surgeries on children whose eyes aren't properly aligned. Often, they're crossed. I want her just to keep looking right at that fish. The team uses a drawing of a fish to help the kids who may struggle with an eye chart. Keep watching that fish down there. Keep looking right at the fish. Find the fish. They may not know their letters, or they may not cooperate with you. They may be shy, not want to talk to you. So we have to try to gather information without relying on cooperation from them. The experience in the clinic can be traumatic for kids. This girl is from a local orphanage, brought here by her caregivers. Others are brought by their parents, like this mother who watched her young son being taken into surgery. The children are completely sedated in the operating room as Dr. Alley repairs the eye muscles so the eyes will line properly. What we were doing is loosening the inner muscle in both eyes that are pulling the eyes inward so that the eyes can work together and be straight, pointing in the same direction. The surgery on the young boy, just two years old, was a success. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. A, a 45 minute operation can change the position of his eyes and hopefully he'll be, his eyes will be straight for, for a lifetime. It can be a life changing event to have your eyes put into a, back into a normal position. Still under anesthesia, the boy is brought into the post-op room where his mother is waiting. Soon, he's awake, not even realizing what an important day in his life this has been. It's hard to describe how exciting it is, how rewarding it is, and how good it makes you feel. Everything went well. Surgery is done, and he did great. Worth all the time and the effort to do all Absolutely. this. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Worth it. Good job! High five! All right. A happy reunion for another family as well. Adrian Benio walks out of the OR to his mother. It's a bit of an unsteady walk into the post-op room, but there are plenty of smiles after what appears to be another successful surgery. Perfect. The amazing thing was that the 15-year-old uh, basically uh, behaved like a much older person. He, he went to sleep, he didn't move, he did a good job. The cornea initially is swollen, and then with the next couple of days it's going to clear up. Meanwhile, a situation has developed for the WBO team. This woman desperately needs surgery. She came from a couple hours away expecting to have a cornea transplant because her doctor had told her that um, you, know, you need a cornea transplant to see better. So she was expecting to have it done. But there's a problem. The surgeons need to look at an ultrasound of her eye, which she doesn't have. Her family is desperately trying to get it. Dr. Chaudhry needs to confirm there's no other damage to her eye that would prevent the surgery from working. We need a copy of it so that we can verify that we're not wasting the cornea and we're not putting her through a year of treatment for no reason. Hopefully she'll be able to get the ultrasound done again or get a copy of the recent one. It's now a waiting game to find out if she'll be able to get the surgery and see clearly again. Coming up on Chronicle Gift of Sight. I was like... The time. A group of high school students from the Susquehanna Valley gets an incredible experience observing and helping in the WBO clinic. Something that most people don't get to do and want to get to do it. It's like a life-changing experience. And the moment when all the hard work by patients and volunteers pays off. It's hard to believe. She goes, we've been waiting for 10 years for this. When our Chronicle special continues.